What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Mob Psycho 100 Season 3, Episode 6 Um, <clears throat> Last time Mob was having this huge boss fight with Dimple Um, Dimple absorbed a lot of power from the tree but the tree feeds on people's faith so, uh, anyway, do, I forgot what he called it, but, like, this, like, god form where he looks all gold and shit. Like, literally looks like he just, like, took a bath in gold. I mean, just drenched in it. Um, and he, um, he's like, oh my god, mobs. He was also sucking a lot of energy out of mobs, so, like, He's really surprised when Mob, therefore, is still able to fight him. And so he's like, um, wait a minute. Pretty sure I sapped, like, all of your energy from you, or nearly all of it, yet it's like I took nothing from you. Like, you're still just as powerful. What, what the fuck? So I think this 99% we're seeing right here in the first second is going to be like 99%, 100, and then Mob's just about to pop off. He's like, this is your last chance, Dimple. This is your last chance? And he, like, broke Mob's heart. Mob was crying because he's, like, denying that their friendship ever existed. And so, um, yeah, broke his heart. Anyway, I think that's a decent summary, so let's just jump right in. <sighs> that ugly shirt. Yep, it's a monkey shirt. That was the last straw. That's right. He's like, what are you wearing? Mm. He was the only one who was real with you. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he just keeps throwing insults at the shirt. Stop! Oh, 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 oh. I want to know what he's thinking so bad. Mob, what's going through your mind? Why are you so upset? Is it that he's insulting a shirt your friend picked out for you? Or are you upset because it's like, oh my god. I can't believe this shirt was actually hideous and I thought I was like slaying in it. Oh, I don't know what it is. Dimple is what? His friend? Who's my best friend? Dimple is. あ、そうだね。でも、そんなことしないだろう。what? Shindai. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's like, you're the only one who told me the truth? Oh, is that what it is? And you didn't just try to spare his feelings. Oh. Yes, yeah, like Mob did. With those. Oh, every girl loves me. <laughs> <笑>いや、随分と ついに手に入れられそうだっていう時にエクボは僕を誘ってくれたんだよね。こうやって一人でもそう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。そう。
前頭なんか違うなと思ってたんだこんだけ大勢の信者が集まってこれといった天敵もいねえ。What, 自分は中心の世界が手に入るほとんど計画通りの神になったようなものなのに認められたいよ。自分の存在を。Because you're just a spirit and most people can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> He accepted him. <laughs> 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 Maybe What else do you want? What do you want to do? Santo Kikuyo, Ekubo no Yaritai Koto, Tomodatsu to Ste. Mob. Oh, it was almost like a tear, but it was like the reflection. No matter kids gonna got them. Kurisama Tomodachi got Hoshkatan. Are you just telling him what he wants to hear, or do you mean it? What? No way, it's not that easy. No, no way. Oh my god! Wow, oh my god, they're really having this just like true heart to heart. Like they're both just being completely honest. I love and and Mob just like totally seeing Dimple side like and admitting like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right about that. I'm like, oh this is crazy. Oh my god, like the communication was just so fucking great. Ah. <laughs> You're gonna carry him out of here? Oh my god, this is so cute! What? This friendship? He's asking you as a friend. Oh, come on, Dimple. <laughs> He's so cute, I can't. His home is your home. Find a new one. What the fuck? Does this is this broccoli alive? Like it has its own consciousness? I knew it, motherfucker. I was thinking it. I should have said it out loud. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god, he's not gonna wake up, is he? Damn. If he keeps using his powers, won't he run out faster? What? Oh, fuck. Fighting mob, and now he's fighting for mob. I love it. It's my best friend. God damn it. Is Dimple gonna die? Is Dimple gonna die here? Dimple's a hero. I'm worried for him. Fight's pretty cool, though. I like his god form. <laughs> Oh, oh, are you okay, Dimple? Oh, nice. Damn. Oh, oh no. Uh, good job, Dimple. But is it? Are you? I don't think you're gonna be able to maintain this. Whoa. Dimple is 
A superhero! Wow. Oh, what is he drawing? Is he drawing something? I don't know. Oh, I thought we were gonna see some sort of picture. Was he just flying randomly? Oh! Oof! Damn. Temple! Jesus! This is excessive, don't you think? Damn! Look at them, taking no chances. Oh! Dude, you gotta just burn the fucking broccoli, honestly. Oh! It's over? What? もう動けんのかまだ全然動けないよ。今の欲のままの生活してたんだよな。何やってやっとその凄さが想像できるとこまで来たぜ。うん。こんなにモテたぐらいで調子に乗るなんて。はい。ふふふふ。ふふふ。
and you were trying to open up to me about your dreams, goals, and aspirations, and I didn't even take you seriously. I wasn't even listening to you. Like, the self-awareness. <laughs> oh my god. That was such a, a beautiful conversation. It was, it, it was simple. It was so easy. It was their communication. They were both just so open and honest. And again, like, the self-reflection, the self-awareness, the Hamab's part. Oh, he's like, you're just going to give up on your dream just like that? Are you sure that's okay? Well, I mean, you just you pretty much threw this whole lecture at me about how it's bad. I mean, what am I supposed to do? And he goes, oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I couldn't believe it when he said that. I was like, Mob? He's saying sorry to dimple someone who's trying to take over the world like but he's, he was like well you're right like um, me saying oh well oh you're just gonna give up on it after i just lectured you it's kind of like what do you want from me kid it's like oh like he, the fact that he admitted it he's like oh yeah like so many people it's so hard for someone to admit when they're wrong i know it is for me um but he just did it so effortlessly. That whole conversation was effortless. That's just how it felt to me. It felt so natural. Oh, oh, that everyone needs to take a fucking note from that interaction, that whole exchange, that scene. That is a great example of what great communication looks like. <sighs> what it should be like, how it should feel. Like, oh my god, oh my god, and Dimple going from like being the villain in the story to being the hero, he's like, Dimple's a hero, Dimple is, was, my friend, flawed, yes, but Mob realized, you know, like, He's still just a person. And then the fucking self-reflection on Dimple's part, like, all of this, you know, all, um, he thought that by being Mob's friend, he'd lost himself and lost sight of who he was and what his goals were. But really, he's like, he goes, I realized I just wanted a friend this whole time. Honestly, I think that's what most of us want. We just want a friend, someone who understands us, someone who tries to understand us to the best of their ability right i think if someone just shows of course you want someone to truly understand you but i think another important part is that they're trying that they make the attempt you know what i mean to be seen to feel seen that's what dimple wanted because he's a spirit no one can see him other than psychics and I mean, in this show, you come across them quite often, but you, you know, <laughs> you probably don't come by those very often, right? At least not the authentic ones. And so he, he's wandered around for a long time just alone. And so all of this, this whole God thing, it was just him vying for some sort of recognition, some, something. Like, he just wanted to be seen by someone. He wanted to be recognized and accepted and and, and Mob did with open arms, like flaws and all. He knew Dimple had this god complex, and at the time, but really deep down, it was just this like insecurity and, like I said, wanting to be seen and accepted by someone. Um, oh my god, their friendship is so cute. It's so pure. It's just so. They just really cared about each other. And Dimple, Dimple sacrificed himself to, he righted his wrongs. You know, he took responsibility in the end. I started this, I'll end it. Knowing full well he was going to die and he freaking brainwashed the mob and told him to get out of there so that he wouldn't get hurt. I know you're tired, 
But you gotta get up. You gotta walk with your head. Walk with your own two feet. Because I'm not gonna be here anymore. Uh, fucking dimple. Making me cry like this. I never would have thought, honestly. What really kills me, I'm gonna go back and watch it again, I think, actually. When Mob cried, when you hear that, <laughs> like that. Oh my god. I'm tempted to post this on YouTube, bro. Like, I feel like this is a reaction that needs to be seen, but it's in the drama club tier, so I'm like, ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! Oh, this was just such a good episode. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck, I need to go back. I need to I need to watch Mob cry again. Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> I just remembered when he was saying in that scene when he was saying um thank you. Like I remember Dimple said, Oh, you're adorable. Like you I have all of this power and I see how easy it is to get carried away with it, but yet you don't. You got carried away with, you know, thinking a bunch of girls liked you, like, and it's just so adorable in comparison. <laughs> you don't get carried away with power, you get carried away with, <laughs> with girls, like, it's just so, it's so cute, it's so cute. You're, you're really adorable, Mama, it's trouble in his head. Oh my God. I think a lot of people can relate to that feeling of like, it's your best friend and like they're gone. Like I think about that sometimes. Like Chris is my best friend and I, I tell him that all the time. I'm like, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you. Like I have nobody, nobody who gets me like you do. I don't know what I would do. And it's just like, it's heartbreaking. You don't, you don't want to think about it. You don't, but this shit happens to people every day. They lose their best friend, a brother, a mother, a father, a whoever. Like, that person that you just, you can't replace. And you just feel so lost. Like, what, what do I do without them here? I can't, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Oh, oh my god. I can keep crying and crying and crying. I need to stop so I can get this up for you guys. You've been waiting. It's like, so, I'm gonna be up so late for you guys. I'm so sorry, but hopefully this reaction more than made up for it. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, hi Q tomorrow. Um, by the way, Saturday, so... I'm going to be extremely busy on Saturday. I need to make a post about this. Maybe I'll do like, maybe I'll, I'll put it on the community tab, but I might have to, I don't know. I just feel like nobody checks the community tab. I don't know the best way to reach all of you. But anyway, I'll just say here. So some of you get the message and maybe post it in the discord, but I'm going to be very busy Saturday. I have to go downtown. I'm going to a K-pop cafe event. It's my first one with my cousin. Um, and I'm really excited. It's from like 1, no, 12 to 4. But I'm not getting there until 1.30. So I'm going to try to finish as much as I can before I go. Maybe get up at like 6 in the morning. And then, um, but anyway, so I'm going to be downtown until like probably 4. Then I gotta come home because I'm going to a comedy club event that night uh, as well. So really busy. And then on, uh, if I don't finish everything before I go downtown, I'll try to finish it up when I get back because I'll have some time. Um, and then if it's still not all done, I'm probably gonna be tired by the time I get home from the comedy club. So I will get it all up the rest of it on Sunday. So whatever I can't finish Saturday will be up be up on Sunday, um, as well as to your eternity. But I am going to see Black Panther 
uh, Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. So, um, don't expect to your eternity or all the stuff on YouTube to be up too, too early. Um, more like late afternoon, evening. So, um, yeah, anyway, just wanted to get all that out there, but yeah, okay. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and, uh, I will catch you guys in the next one.